Okay, so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a repeat of my last reactor tutorial, but this time we're not going to let them, we're not going to let the edges touch, because uh, some of the comments have been pointing towards it being more efficient if it's separated, so we're going to test that out today. So, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start onward. We forge through with the pattern. And I'm going to fill in these with shields. I'm using the symmetry on the same point in the middle. I've just expanded the back plate. God, the bloom is a little insane. So, there's the first layer. And uh, the bloom is insane. I didn't realise the sun was behind me. Hang on. Yeah, because we crunched the numbers and it did look like, actually, this makes more if you do not fuse them together when expanding, so... Yeah. And we're coming up with the final layer. For... Well, for halfway, the halfway mark. But of course, this time we're just gonna leave a gap. Or fill it in, I guess. I just fill these in as quickly as I can. And the last layer. Done. Interestingly, it's not producing as much as it should be. So view the video, maybe I made a mistake somewhere, but I'm producing 79,327 79,327 that's what we get from this 11 by 11 which is I think it's last thing that's less than expected, it's still more than with symmetry but then it's, it's much larger for the size so I don't know Just work it out, uh, work it out. So it's about 59 energy per volume, which isn't isn't that much better. So it's interesting how, um, I'm just going to double check the comment. So yeah, you would think that this would hit 89, being in that, uh, well there's 8, there's actually 8 of them, so 8 times 9927. 79416 and this is 79327 so it's slightly off and I th well I suppose that could be the point like the, the decimal but yeah so no actually yeah that means I have built it right that's on that's on target so yeah basically guys build them separately just stuff some power tanks or shield dispersers down the middle and then this will give you even more uh, because I believe I was doing with the previous pattern from the last video 36,382 
for 729 blocks, which is a 9 by 9 by 9, which means it would fit perfectly inside this one. Um, and that was giving me 49.9 .9 energy per block. This arrangement gives 59 energy per block. So still, it still seems interesting that it's not exactly it's not it's not as good because of the fact that it takes up more space. You know, there's a lot of dead weight in the shields. So there's a lot of volume that isn't producing power, and that's what brings the average down. So it's <laughs> you know, ironically, it's not as good as a 9927 just on its own. But that's because you're not just making a power reactor; you have to put other blocks on the ship. So. Don't worry too much if you're finding that you're not getting as much as you thought you would. Um, you know, you can still do the math and work it out, but there's a, there's a few bit of trickery going on with the, if you're going to keep them separate. So, yeah, keep them separate. More power. Right, thanks for watching. Uh, please keep the comments coming, guys, because it means I can make these videos better for everybody. So... Like I say, this is the way to do it now. Take the 9927 reactor. You can still use the symmetry on the X and the Y. Um, and, yeah. That's all you need to do. See you soon.